Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Jake here with a little PSA here. I uh, just want to let you know, look out for our next video, which we're going to have renamed to the podcast as Nerd Church Podcast. Everything nerd coming at you. Um, anyway, so look for the next video. It's going to be on Daredevil Season 2 of Netflix. Uh, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, reading suggestions, you know, a little companion to help you maybe brush up on your Daredevil mythology before you watch Season 2. Um, my personal suggestion would be Brian Michael Bendis, anything he's written on Daredevil other than End of Days, which was kind of his sayonara to the Daredevil series. But I would recommend picking up anything that says Brian Michael Bendis on the Daredevil cover because that is top notch and obviously season one drew a lot of inspiration from Brian Michael Bendis. What about you, Vega? What about what would you suggest for the readers out there? Uh with Electra coming into the series now, I think uh Daredevil Man Without Fear from uh from Frank Miller is probably a really good uh Stark, it's kind of a, like an origin story for Electra in this, you know? Yeah, so definitely. You can, you're going to have Electra in there, so why not find out about uh, Matt's little ex? Right. See what she's see what, see what she going to bring to the table. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Frank Miller brought in Electra. He really kind of upped her, her origin story. Anything by yeah. Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen. He's got a three-volume set out there. Yes, Pick sir. it up. And like I said, our last, our newcomer, Andrew, what about you, buddy? What would you suggest for the readers out there? How's it going, everyone, again? Uh, I, you know, you gotta you gotta point out the the big one in this season, and that's the Punisher. You know, so definitely gonna recommend uh, Garth Ennis's Punisher run, where the Welcome Back Frank storyline, where we get the storyline, the choice, where you actually get to see the interaction between Daredevil and Punisher, and, and you also get a good look at where this season got most of its ideas from with this story too, which is why I think it's so badass. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? If you want to further that uh, that Punisher read, I would suggest anything by Jason Aaron on the Punisher Max series. Great thing. One of my favorite Punisher stories ever is Punisher Max Bullseye by Jason Aaron. Definitely give that a read, but Punisher Bullseye is definitely my favorite. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to check yep. us out on the next episode. And be on the lookout for Nerd Church. Nerd Church, baby, coming at you very soon. 2016. Take care, guys.